Uh, tonight, I was going to go back to Nagoya, but I'm going to stick around uh, Shinjuku area and see Hades with Peter Lim. I met Peter. Peter Lim came to the show, too. Uh, Peter Lim showed up. Richard Hogan, um, Mike Barber, uh, former drummer for for uh, Bright Ear. There's some other musicians, musicians there I think I recognized, but I wasn't quite sure who they were. Um, so I got to meet so many people and then uh, so many fans of, of the bands that were there. Some, you know, were familiar with, with me. So it was really cool to meet all these people in another place again. And uh, it's been a wild ride so far. Much more to come. I'll meet Hades in person tonight, which is going to be, <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be a trip. So uh, stick around. I will have some edited videos up sometime. But for right now, this is what you got. It's kind of stream of consciousness stuff. But, so I have hours to kill until Peter gets around or whatever. So I'm just going to walk around Shinjuku well, and uh, see what's going on. don't really do this on my own, so, you know, it's an adventure. So I decided to go walk around. I looked up Shinjuku Park. That sounded interesting, and turns out it, it wasn't. It was small, had a lot of trash around it. Tried to get a good shot, but there were still bottles left in the background. I did run into a pigeon friend, a uh, pretty Beautiful pigeon, I might add. Um, also, you know, here's just a city shot. It's kind of walking around, found of what seemed like a, a central kind of strip. So I uh, took some video here, found something interesting. I'm wandering around Shinjuku. A few times and actually just kind of exploring on my own. Nowhere really to go. It's fun. Went to Don Quixote, got a new folder to my phone. Since I left the uh, part of mine at home. I think I'm going to find something to eat. Maybe find a park. What the cabo? Double Pachico Park. It was small and full of trash. <laughs> but uh, this is pretty cool. So I'll wander around here a little bit more. Catch up with you later. It's always nice to get a, you know, a good city shot. Because there's so many just wonderful shots to get when you're walking around Japan. So right now I'm heading towards the guitar store. So I can I can get my fix. I gotta play some guitar, man. <laughs> I got no uh, obligations. I might as well play some music, right? So we'll see what it looks like when I get there. And if I can record inside of the booth, that's a bummer. No guitar shop there. So I guess we'll find something else to do. I ate too much for breakfast. So I don't really need to eat any food, but I haven't had any ramen yet. We'll see. That was the closest guitar place there was. It was like 450 meters from where I was to start with, so everything else is kilometers away. All right. Next project. Next <laughs> adventure. So the guitar store was a bust, and I wanted to find something. And I saw two people with guitars on their backs walking around, so I, I followed them, and they went into a rehearsal studio. I walked into the rehearsal studio, and, it, and people just kind of looked at me like, what the hell are you doing here? So I didn't really uh, stick around and ask questions. But it was cool to see. It's just somewhere. Uh, it's not easy to play and record music in the little apartments in japan i think and what where people most like a lot of people live so they go to these rehearsal studios and they can record and and practice and not worry about bothering anybody so i think that's what goes on i did stumble across a cool uh, cd dvd shop pretty small up on the third floor i think or whatever it is um lots of cds and a lot of uh what would be import cds here but uh just a lot of stuff from it was mainly american music and stuff you can't really find here. So I found a couple CDs for Elliot and Amanda. They ended up coming back here later with uh, with Century and uh, his daughter. And I think she found some pretty cool stuff. And here's a little repair shop. I, I was so desperate to see some guitars at least. I looked in there and took a photo like wishing I could play them. <laughs> and finally we get to Crescendo 
where Hades is going to play, failed to get any pictures from the <laughs> from the day, like a big old fail. Here's some things to kind of tide you over, but let me talk about the band. It was a really cool thing to meet the band. I had interviewed them before, just via the internet, and Peter Lim was translating. It was great to finally meet them in person. Peter was there. I didn't meet them until after the show. They were busy getting ready for the show. After the show, we did uh, an after-show live stream where they did some tasting of American sweets, and one of them that actually wasn't so sweet was licorice, and that's pretty entertaining to watch. Here's a little clip of that. (laughs) ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパー。ペーパ